What's up people this is RaiseHQ and today I'm going to show you how to install the Pixel GUI on a Raspberry and Jesse Lite version of the Raspberry Pi. So while downloading the Raspberry, Raspberry Pi's OS we are provided with two options one is the Raspberry and Jesse with Pixel and one is the Raspberry and Jesse Lite. The major difference between these two is the exclusion of the is the exclusion of the GUI and the in, and the exclusion of the Python, Scratch, Sonic Pi, Java, Mathematica, etc. When we look at these, the Raspberry and Jesse with Pixel takes up more space when compared to Raspberry and Jesse Lite, and hence most people use Raspberry and Jesse Lite if they are not going to use the above fun, the above programs. So. If there occurs a time when you need the GUI, there is the Pixel GUI, then you, then the only option was to reformat the whole SD card and install the GUI version. But now that's not the case anymore because now you can install the GUI separately. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the GUI. Now this is. Now these are the lines which are required. Xserver.xrg does a specific function. Xserinit does one, and Raspberry Pi UI mods does one. So we'll take a look at these all. First, let's start installing them. Now keep this in mind that this process will take a lot of time. I forgot to add the minus y so it wouldn't ask again and again to install the libraries and directories. Now the next coming slides will show what each of these do, does. There is the xserver minus xorg, the xinit and the raspberry pi ui mods. So stay tuned. So there are four things required to run the gui. One is the display server, next the desktop environment, next the window manager and the fourth and the last is the login manager. So these these four are substituted as XORG display server, Pi improved X windows environment lightweight which is the short form of pixel, then the open box window manager, LXDE, then the light DM login manager. Now. After the instruction is complete, you must run the update, upgrade and the dist upgrade commands as I'm doing here. After it's done, just open up sudo raspberry config and enable BNC. This would allow you to control the Raspberry Pi over the Wi Fi or the internet.
Now after it's, it's done, just click on finish and you have VNC installed. Next thing, just type in VNC server and press enter and this would generate a private key which would be used to communicate with the VNC viewer. It's done. Now just opening up VNC viewer. You, you can search on Google for VNC and You can search on Google for VNC and it will show a number of softwares. Now just click, now just tapping in the IP address of the Raspberry Pi, clicking continue and entering the user ID and password of the Pi. You will be able to log in to the Pi. But over here, I am not able to do it. I put it in a full screen mode but still then I then I remembered that I have to change the auto login services so I'll have to type sudo raspi config again then go to boot options and click on desktop auto login and reboot the device that will solve all the problems After the reboot is complete, the VNC will show the desktop GUI on its window. This is how the Pixel GUI looks freshly installed on the Raspberry Pi. So thank you people for watching this video, like this video or dislike it, subscribe to the channel, share it, go through my other videos and see you next time, tada!